All right, let's do some fancy stuff here. I've got an iPad here, and I've got an app, just some app I found on the in the App Store. It's, it's called um, Show Me, I think. It's like a whiteboarding app. So I'm drawing on the on the iPad. And so you can install whatever app you like on your iPad. But wouldn't it be cool if when you're in your WebEx meeting, if you could share real time um, your screen of your iPad here. Now, if you don't know how to share a screen in Cisco meetings, uh, let me just show you that really quick. I'm going to start a meeting. No one's going to be there. So I'm just going to start the meeting in my personal room here and um, not invite anyone, anyone specifically. So down here, there's this little bucket with the arrow pointing up. This is uh, to share a screen. So you click on that and you've got a bunch of options. Uh, the easiest thing, uh, what I would suggest doing is just share your whole screen up here. So screen one, I happen to have a second monitor so you could, I could share screen two or screen one. I'm going to share screen one. So now anyone that joins my WebEx meetings will see my whole screen here. You are sharing your screen. See, it says right there. Okay. So now I want to show them this though, full screen here, or just at least a nice representation of what's going on on the iPad. So what you do on a Mac, and I think on a PC too, is you launch QuickTime Player. It's a quick, easy shortcut. So I clicked on the little magnifying glass over here, and I'm just going to type in QuickTime. I'm on a Mac, so I, it, that's how you do it on a Mac. On a PC, you'll probably go to the Start menu down there. If you have to launch QuickTime Player, I'm pretty sure it's a free download. And when QuickTime Player launches, it looks like nothing happened. Like what, you know, like what happened there? Nothing. Well, if you look at the top corner here, it's actually QuickTime Player is already ready to go. But there's a little trick with QuickTime Player where you go to File, now go to New Movie. Like we're going to make a new movie. Uh, not new screen recording. Screen recording would just capture the whole screen. But we want to make a new movie. But instead of using my camera, which is going to pull up first, down by the Record button, you can select the Source. And the source, I'm going to set it to, this is my iPad for some reason. It's got that crazy name. And now, boom, this is my live iPad. So I can just draw on it and everyone will see what I'm drawing. Pretty cool, huh? So now anyone that's joining in my WebEx here uh, meeting would see my iPad and I could demonstrate, you know, I don't know, point... Point A goes, oops, point A goes to point, whatever it is you want to demonstrate. You know, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of a handy little handy little trick. Now just to prove, so if I minimize the iPad here, it's not just that app, it's like the whole iPad. So, you know, any old thing, if you want to, uh, you're teaching music or whatever, and you want to play the piano. Now, uh, that actually brings up another point is down here in the little record thing in QuickTime Player, you can choose the um, the microphone. and I think you can set the audio source here too. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's give it a try and just see what happens. That's what I like to do is just try things out, see what happens. Choosing the iPad as the audio source. Um, let's give it a moment. Okay, so I see audio coming through here. Oh wait, this is not turned up. Let me turn this up. Ooh. So uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear it loud and clear. So I'm now streaming audio and video uh, from the iPad to my WebEx meeting. Pretty cool. But the other thing you could do is here's my phone, you know, and if you wanted to demonstrate something on the phone, like how to access, I don't know, uh, your email on the phone or whatever, you can select it as a source now. So there's my Dave's phone. And um, click on it and give it a moment to sync up. Now, you might have to click some trust thing. Like it might say, do you trust this computer? And you click, yes, I trust it. Um, and there we go. This is my phone live. So you can see, um, you know, whatever, whatever you want to demonstrate. And I'm screencasting my whole screen here through WebEx. So anyone that logs in would see um, everything here. Oh, there's a caveat. Um, if you are on a campus-issued laptop and you work for MCC, um, if your laptop is kicking you off the network when you physically plug in your phone or your iPad, um, contact the help center and maybe they can put a ticket in for that. There's, there's some kind of a patch to make that stop happening. And I've heard also from some people that if you disable Bluetooth on your device, so... Turn off the Bluetooth on your phone, 
turn off the Bluetooth on your iPad if you're connecting it, then maybe the Wi-Fi would work still on your laptop. The only reason that's important is if you're connecting to a WebEx meeting, then you'd be kicked off the WebEx meeting. Um, or you could hardwire your laptop to your, your home network also. So just plug your laptop into your home network. And um, so yeah, just uh, kind of a cool trick if you want something fancy to do, you wanna share your, share your screen on your iPad or your phone, um, open up QuickTime, select it as a source. I'll have to just double check that this is the same operation on a PC, but I'm pretty sure it works exactly the same on a PC, but I'll look into that. Until next time, catch you later.